This episode of Good Morning Wilmington is brought to you by DART, Delaware's public transit service moving you forward. Good morning, Delaware. This is DETV's Good Morning Wilmington. And it's Monday again, guys. It's yes, it is. How was your guys' weekend? <laughs> I oh. had an amazing weekend. How about yeah, you guys? I did. I did. Oh, yeah. Well, great weekend. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I kind of technically kicked it off on Thursday night. Oh, okay. What'd you I do? Went, What'd you do? Well, I went and I um, we did the uh, the interview last, I think on last week's show for the mm -hmm. Delaware Art Museum. Oh, they yeah. had the premiere mm -hmm. of the Contemporary Dance Thursday night, Very so I went nice. and checked nice. it out. Oof. Powerful. That was awesome. That's it was awesome. awesome. It How about was you, awesome. Kristen? Nice. What'd you wind up doing? I got a little getaway in. Yeah? Yeah. I can't complain that one bit. Got a. Little girls weekend. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, Ariel. Was Ariel yoga? In the Ariel yoga. Well, her name is Zena, but no, I, we did not. Well, I'm talking about the facility. So. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, oh, Winsett okay. Philly. So it was still like, you know, 4th of July related. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's like, you know, where uh, the birth is, ah. where the United States, is, they say, it is, it is. liberty. Yes. And we kicked it off <laughs> down the riverfront. That's where I was uh -huh. at. Nice. Yeah, for, the, for the fireworks, right? For the right? fireworks. Had yep. so much fun. Well, right. Got to see all different faces and yeah. see different folks from Wilmington. So yeah. it was good. Listen, we have had such a heat wave going we on. Have, oh. We have, we have, and this rain don't help any when it rains. It then just becomes humid. It just becomes humid. humid. But so. it, it has cooled it down. Like I know the other day, Wednesday yeah. last week, riding in my car. Yeah. First off, transitioning from inside to outside to the mm -hmm. car, mm -hmm. it was horrible. I've, my my AC was not AC getting cold enough. Off. I've intentionally left my air on <laughs> like 70. Uh -huh. <laughs> So when I can hit that, yep. you know, that coldness hits you in the face mm -hmm. when you walk in that door. Yeah. Good oh, my God. car just gave the AC in my car just gave up last Wednesday. It was yeah. just like, I'm just going to blow oh. air at you. Yeah. Oh, and my That's gosh. what you're going to get. Well, for all those that are dealing with this heat wave, you know, yeah. I highly encourage you to visit the mayor's office, specifically the constituent service department, yeah. as they're providing fans for those that are struggling in this oh, way. Nice. Well, for, yeah. well, for the elder, I think it's like 65 and older. Oh, yeah. 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 So they're providing, yeah. If, they, um, yeah. if they haven't picked one up in the past year, yeah. uh, they are offering them for free for them as yeah. well. So That's I encourage nice. everyone, go make sure you knock on your neighbor's door, check on grandma, yeah. yes. check on everyone. So. Now I know it's uh, Marva Power. They usually have some kind of uh, tips that they put out on their website. They do. Mm -hmm. they do. Uh, this they do. year they gave five tips. The first one was, of course, to turn your AC to a moderate mm -hmm. temperature mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. of trying to make it Mm -hmm. Super, super cold. cold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't follow my lead. Listen to Delmarva. Yes. But. They, they also recommend that you fire up the grill. So instead, like I have a gas stove at home and I Me hate too. cooking during the summer. Oh, God. Uh, but they recommend that you fire up your grill so yeah. that way you're, you know, conserving gas, uh, which is another form of mm -hmm. energy. And then your high energy chores like mm -hmm. laundry or mm -hmm. dishes, save them for like later yeah. in the day, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, and be see, smart about it. Drink plenty of water. You know, this heat wave is no joke. Definitely. And take breaks. Stay in the yeah. cool, you yeah. know, and all that. I mean, but if you do want to go out and about, the, the great thing about this year, because they were closed last year, mm -hmm. the city pools are reopened. Right? Yes. I'm excited about yes. that. Yeah. I, I, know, I, I look love right down some the street water. from Hicks, so to see those sprinklers going uh -huh. in the Olympics Management Center, I'm like, I just yeah. want to jump right in. And, I mean, after last Children summer? and a, one random adult doesn't look good. So, <laughs> no, not at all, Jordan. No. I, I think I'll go oh, when, now, when the kids ain't around. Hit the beach. How about that? Yeah, that'll work for me. Beach. I'm a beach yeah. baby. Yeah. I love the beach. Yeah, yeah. Lewis yes. is my favorite. Really? Is, is it really? Beach. I love love going to Lewis. It's, I get down and I'm weird. Like I like I gotta get up at like five in the morning okay. to hit the beach because then I like to fall asleep. 
on the beach. On the beach. Okay. okay. No one's there, and then I'm waking up to all this. So like, you get like an umbrella yeah. and all yeah, that. Do you rent that when you go out? Sleep it because it's quiet. Yeah. yeah. I'm terrified of falling asleep on the beach. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Sunburn is a real thing. It oh. is. It is. And that would happen to me for oh. sure. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm you, you're Irish woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I go from yeah. I go from being me to looking like a cook lobster in five yeah. minutes. So I'm terrified <laughs> to fall asleep yeah. on the beach. Yeah. 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 Well, and then um, speaking of uh, favorite spots when being at the beach. Um, our mayor, you know, is getting ready to kick off um, his plan with what he envisions with his uh, thirty million dollars and oh, yeah. that fifty yeah, million that he's getting from the ARP yeah, yeah, or yeah. ARPA. Of ARPA, Chicago, indeed. I'm American really interested in seeing what he, how he uh, yeah. disperses yeah. the funds. I know there were some citizens, like two dozen, that had made some mm -hmm. suggestions, yeah. and actually anyone can make suggestions. There's they can. an email address, they can. a phone number. Reach out um, to your council members too. Most yeah. definitely, yeah. the email address is a. RP ideas at Wilmington Gov, go. DE Gov. Go. And he's um, already laid out that he's going to put this into the neighborhoods. Yes, yeah. so Indeed. that's 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 very good. Yep. And there's a lot of homes, you know, having worked in with a housing nonprofit, mm -hmm. uh, Delaware Housing um, Fund, they provide home repairs. You know, I, I would yeah. love to see the mayor, you know, invest with homeowners that are struggling with home repairs. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a big deal. I mean, right especially now. after everything that's been going on, people have been working from home and right. a lot happening. Right. I mean, and the other thing that I overheard was he was also thinking about um, for streetlights, mm -hmm. getting streetlight repairs, yeah. getting bulbs put in, and yeah. even maybe having them outfitted with like security cameras for yeah. safety and stuff like yeah. that. So yeah. now I love where you guys are going with it, but you know, I have such a big heart for families, children, the youth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really would love to see more um, youth services and programs mm -hmm. um, because with COVID and everyone having to transition into learning a different way, mm -hmm. there are a lot of different gaps. And I know the governor, he has some things set in place, mm -hmm. uh, some initiatives set in place to be able to help close those gaps. Mm -hmm. But just to kind of pour more into the youth because they're yeah. the ones that are affected. And I think later down the road, you want to just be more proactive so right. it's not a bigger issue later. And I believe he's I investing he some of that money into uh, to addressing so mental from, health. Yeah, mental, mental health. That's a big one, too. That's a very yeah. huge. Yes. That's so a big I, one. I love the fact that uh, Mayor Pizzicchi is going to make sure he's covering the whole gamut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he recognizes that this is a lot of money that's going to come to the city, specifically yes. that his office is going to handle. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, the fact that he's covering all aspects of the city is yeah I like darn that good in my I'm gonna send over an email myself yeah. because it, for the adults though yeah. like listen so, you got to learn how to manage your money because yeah. everyone's gotten all these different funds yeah. from you know we, we the relief about program this recently about we did. you know just being well educated it all goes back you to education to. it's educating all yourself. about mm -hmm. education yep. right. so right. I'm for it well yeah. you know Talking about the beaches earlier, you know, when you got to be at the beach, you got to <laughs> chill out and stay cool. You do. Yes, you, you do. Know, so we are going to get ready to head outside and oh, have Oh, but some... you know what reminds me about the beach? What? Because I, I was just thinking about this the other day. So Dr. Jill Biden yes. and Joe, oh, President Biden, they, right? always, they always go to Rehoboth. Yes. Right. Yes. And it like well, early when we were talking about they were the beaches, just down there. They were just down they were there. Just down yes, there. taking a little taking a little bike ride. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what, out there. it reminded me of something too. I think it was the other day. Um, I don't know if it was like recently announced, but she is returning um, the tradition back to the tradition of doing Being on the boat. Yes. Yeah. that's gonna be nice. Yeah, that's gonna now be nice. do you and know they already she, shot it too? They did. They did. Yep. They already shot She's it. only the third first really? lady. To grace the covers, yes. Hillary Clinton was the first. Uh -huh. Michelle. Our Lady Michelle Obama uh -huh. <laughs> was number yes. two, and Dr. Jill Biden. Yep. She's the third. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. I so think she's it's bringing it back. An no awesome Melania, accomplishment. Huh? Yeah. Mm. No. No. Dang. And listen, a wow. lot of uh, <laughs> blogs and other uh, publications were talking about how she was snubbed from gracing the cover during her tenure in the White House, but mm -hmm. yeah. It's okay. That's all yeah. right. Yeah. Right. You know, as Delawareans, we, we, we won't lose any sleep over that. No. <laughs> go, Dr. Jill. <laughs> we're proud to see her. So, um, but as I was saying, we're getting ready to go outside, right? Yes, because we are. They, talking about these beaches, yeah. you got to stay cool, Get whether you're inside and dealing with this heat wave. Yes. We're about to go check out some Cajun snowballs. Snowballs, yeah. yeah listen, yes. I'm learning. Not a snow cone. Not a snow cone. Not it water ice. It's snow Italian cones. ice. Snowballs. It ain't water ice. That's right. Notice yeah. that I say water. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to go out. <laughs> We're about to go outside and we're going to try some of these uh, Cajun snowballs, all right? right. We're doing a lot of talking here in Washington, in the Senate, about infrastructure. What's that really mean? Well, if we move forward on the bipartisan infrastructure plan that I'm supporting, that's going to mean millions more dollars for Delaware and Delawareans to improve Amtrak and SEPTA, 
to improve our roads and bridges up and down the state, to make sure we've got better access to broadband so that your cell phone calls don't drop as you drive up and down the state, so that kids can get access to Wi-Fi for school and we can take advantage of telemedicine. I'm excited about a $580 billion new proposal for infrastructure for this country, but more than anything, I'm interested about how this will create good high paying jobs in Delaware and make our state easier to live in, more equitable and just, and more accessible in this digital age. For more information, go to my website, coons.senate.gov. Thanks. And on this summer day, I'm excited. We're getting ready to get some awesome snow cones. We get to sit down with the one and only Meg. What's going on, Meg? How are you? How are you? Now, now talk to me here. I'm looking at your sign. It says Cajun snow. I'm feeling icy hot. That, I don't know how I should feel about that. What is that? Is that what I'm going to yep. taste? So snowballs are, the way that we make them are all from New Orleans. Okay. So that's where you get the Cajun theme from. Okay. Um, so in New Orleans, they make snowballs. Hey. The biggest difference between a snowball and a snow cone is that there's two differences. One is mm -hmm. the ice. Mm -hmm. The ice has a different texture. So okay. we have a machine. My trailer was actually built down there. Wow. Um, and the machine itself, of course, came from down there as okay. well. So the machine shaves out the ice into a light, fluffy, snowy texture. Okay. Um, and then the other difference is the juices. So the juices in a snow cone are made with high fructose corn syrup. So they're kind of like your junkie syrups. All right. We make all of our juices from scratch using pure sugar. So not only is it a better quality product, it's also healthier for you as well. Gotcha. Um, so between the smooth melt in your mouth kind of texture and the better quality of the juices, that's what a snowball is and that's what we do. All right. Well, so what kind of flavor? Now, what, before I even get into the flavors, what made you get into this? So in 2012, we were sitting around the dinner table uh -huh. and we were talking- I think talk we is you and your family, we, right? Um, yeah, actually my husband's family okay. and I was there. Okay. And we were talking about a store called Nolan's that <laughs> when we were kids uh -huh. um, was around and Nolan sold snowballs. Okay. And they shut down, I guess when we were around like three years old or so, so mm. long time ago. Mm. And so we were talking about, we said, hey, well, let's bring it back to the community. The community knows what it, what snowballs are right. and let's bring it back. So we decided to bring it back as a truck so we could be back around town. Now, I understand too, there's there's like different regions when it comes to, some people say water ice, or yes. some some people say, you know, Italian ice. Mm -hmm. Help me understand that. So they're Why? all different. Okay. So water ice, what they do is they take the juice and the water and the ice and the syrups and everything, they mix it all in a bucket, they freeze it, and then they scoop it to you. Gotcha. All of our snowballs are all made to order. Oh. So when I make you a snowball, I will shave out the ice, I will pour the juice on top, okay. and then there you go, it's made to order. So nice. it's, it's a little bit of a different product. Oh, nice. Now, you know, this is a treat for me because I got family in, in NOLA, awesome. and uh, I got family in uh, right near the French Quarter. So where, where can, if we're, if I'm in New Orleans, where would I find you down all there? O all over. All over. Yep. Okay. So you can get snowballs at the gas station down okay. there. You can get them literally anywhere. Okay. Up nice. here, however. Yes, you're here awesome. in Wilmington. Okay. So <laughs> Just where, So where can we find you here in Wilmington? So. Up until last year, we uh -huh. had a normal location we would set up every day, and okay. that was in the Fairfax Shopping Center okay. on 202 on Cocker Pike. Okay. Um, last year, however, we bought an ice cream shop, which we added the snowball machine into the ice cream shop. So now we're using the trucks more so, and specifically for private parties, graduation parties, weddings. We do a lot of big corporate events, some of which are here in the city. All right, so we're going to jump right into this, right? So we're going to do a blind tasting, <laughs> all right? So I'm going to let you pick the flavors Perfect. for me, yep. Kristen, and JJ. Awesome. And we're going to go right over here. We're going to meet with the two of them, and we're going to get started from there. Perfect. Sound like a plan? Sounds great. All right. So now we're getting ready to go ahead and taste some of these awesome Cajun snow cones. Meg, what you got for us? All right. All right. Oh, and well, you can't tell us yet, right? Snowballs, not these snow cones. Snowballs. Snowballs. We, snowballs. I stand right. corrected. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's make, a blue. I make that mistake. Okay. Here. We just learned about the regions. <laughs> All, right. All right. So I have not had this since I was a child. Really? I am so excited. I'm excited too. Okay. All right. You ready? So what's this one called, Megan? You're gonna tell we're me. Gonna oh, we're gonna tell her. Okay. All right. Let's see. Ready? Yep. That was so awesome. Is that like a blue raspberry? Blue it raspberry, tastes, ding, ding, ding. I was going to say, it tastes familiar. It tastes like very blue. Raspberry. It's my daughter's favorite. <laughs> oh my I God. Like this. This, this is amazing. Mm-hmm. 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 Ooh. 
Mm-hmm. All right, ready for the Perfect. next one? Yeah. Let me. Make you want to slap Ivan. This is good. <laughs> I'm, coming back. I'm coming back to that one. <laughs> that was good. All right, that some of them we're all starting. Keep your spoons. Okay. okay. Here's right. the next one. Hold on, let me. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's see. This one should be an easy one, too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that correction. Now, yeah, I'm seeing the difference between a snowball, snow cone, water ice, <laughs> like all that. Flavor. This is good. Yep. Ding, okay. ding, ding. What'd you say? Like cherry. It's cherry. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good, too. All right, the next one's going to be a little more difficult. Oh, definitely good. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. It's also red. This it's one also, is red. also oh. red. Can I say that the flavor is red? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can't taste color. I'm just okay. kidding. <laughs> Alright. The flavor is what red. Is this? If that's cherry, then it tastes like purple. Curious. Now. So this one I'll give you guys a hint on. This is more of an adult palette preference oh, flavor. Really? Oh, okay. Now I'm intrigued. Ready? <laughs> you said the right language for me. <laughs> adult beverage. Oh man. Why do I get like a hint of like butterscotch, like a yeah. Werther's type thing? Yeah. Is that what that is? Kind nope. of, yeah. Like you know the like weather your grandma used nope. to give you. No, <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> you way off. <laughs> I'm <laughs> We're Jeopardy so sad. You way off. <laughs> no, nope. you are wrong. You are wrong. An adult one? I don't know. Let me see. I'm feeling Margarette <laughs> when it comes to that. <laughs> I really do. So we have oh, no. over 150 flavors. Of those 150, we have eight. Cake flavors. This cake. is one of the cake flavors. It's a cake. Uh, okay. Wow. That I like that one. So I like, like that one. It's like an icing vibe. I'm getting them. I like that one. Okay. Okay. Yep. Vanilla. Yep. Getting warmer. So that's vanilla, not butterscotch. Correct. Oh. oh. Think more. Cream. It's red. Okay. And, but it's red. Okay. That's another hint. Red velvet. Red velvet. Red velvet. Red velvet. Oh. Okay. 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 So okay. now that you know. I like that. Okay. okay. I like All right. that. All right. Let's go. All right. That was different. That, that was different. And red velvet's my favorite cake, so. That was good, though. I yeah. like that one. Oh, we got yellow. Yellow. <laughs> this is one of my top five favorites. OK. okay. Top five, top Hello, five. Hello, yellow. Five. Let's give this so one a go. Like right now, this is my top red yellow. velvets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's All right. see. You ready? Right. One, two, three, go. It's definitely like a. It gives me an ice cream tape feel. It's like a vanilla ice creamish kind of. Um, no. No. This one's a fruit. It's a fruit. Ooh. Hold on. We I'm have almost a lot of there. Flavors that are mixes. This is just a straight up fruit. Pineapple. Nope. Hold this on. This is a tricky one. I don't, I don't know. know. You got me on that I one. I don't know. But it's. I really... should let you guys study the board. Oh. This is like being a right, <laughs> these coffee beans. Yeah. Like, cool. I'm like, can I? I need some water. That's really good. I just can't figure out what that is. All right, I give up. Everybody gives up? Yeah. Pear. Yeah. Pear. 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 Listen. I was going to guess I would an apple, but I was like, it's not an apple. apple. Pear. That's why I chose it. Pear's green. Okay. okay. Not or all of them. Be yellow. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. The next one. Okay. I got stumped on that one. Yeah, okay. that one that one got me. Oh, this is bright. Okay. Mm. Make sure you get a good one of their faces when they try Maybe this, this one. Oh. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> is this dangerous, Megan? Is this Maybe. one dangerous? Let's see. Oh, Let's I know see. this one. I smelled it. Mm. Pickle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so I like pickle. pickles. Pickle? I'm okay with oh. it. It's not that bad. Oh. Icy pickles. I wasn't expecting it. Nope. They caught me off guard. I smelled it first, so I kind of knew. Uh, uh. <laughs> so oh, that's so interesting. This is like an eight-year-old boy or pregnant woman flavor. Mm. Uh huh. You don't have to finish it. I'm neither. <laughs> He's like, that's, that's funny. interesting. <laughs> Good to know that. Oh my. Pickle. All right. This one is excellent <laughs> with rum. <laughs> this so, is excellent uh, with rum. Rum. Okay. Who brought the rum? Who has the work flask? Oh my. Oh my. Okay. okay. You said this is excellent with rum. Oh, it's like a coconut. Sorry. It's coconut. Oh, yeah. This is coconut. That's like pina colada. This is coconut. Yeah. Coconut. Yeah. Coconut. Coconut. Yep. 
So we do like not have a liquor license. We cannot serve or provide. However, we can go to a party. Oh, wow. And you and your guests. And we can I got a that. flask in my. I like yeah. that. Right. I ain't going to finish that. <laughs> so we, we can do adult parties. I just can't bring it and pour it, but you can. All right. This is good. We're all, all about right. 21 here. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that's delicious. Like a that's really beautiful. good. Okay. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Well, All right, good. and then the okay. last one I'm gonna put that is going to be favorite. another tricky one. Okay. okay. It's incredible. My people that love this are, I call it like my cult followers. Like they okay. hunt me they <laughs> they down for this it's one. It's not like you the got, pickle one. It's not like, no, okay. this one's a good one. All right. okay. I went in right. super tough with the pickle one. Oh, I can't. I'm not getting a smell. And the color is accurate on this one. Oh, what is that? Hmm. I feel like I should know what this is. Is this a plum? No. No. I'm trying to figure it out because the taste is familiar. So I'll give you a hint. It's an almond Bavarian cream. An almond but not Bavarian the, cream. But that's not the name of the flavor. But a Bavarian cream. Almond milk? What? No. no. Almond Bavarian it's a dessert. cream. It is a dessert. Yeah, I've it's had it good. before. I've, with, I've had this before. I know it's a dessert. I'm What's in tiramisu? Out. Close. Who? What's in tiramisu? Who is that? It's a Rum, dessert. Oh. Rum soaked <laughs> lady fingers is tiramisu. Yeah. Okay. This is it. But a, I'm close. You you're said. close. Okay. Um, I do have tiramisu as a flavor, just not on the table. It's just right not now. this one. Okay. But I am close. Uh, what's it? What? Uh, what does an eclair have? It's not an eclair, but I think it is a Krispy Kreme. No, that's a donut. Uh, Did I, <laughs> would I get this at an Italian restaurant? Sorry. This dessert? Uh, probably not. No. That, 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 you would only have this as a dessert. Right to, well, because eclairs have like that a cream times in it. a year. Maybe. Dum dum da dum. Wedding cake. Wedding, Wedding cake. cake. Oh, shut yep. up. Yeah. Who? Okay. Wedding Wedding cake. Wedding cake. That Try it again now that you know what it is. Cake. That makes sense. Yes, it makes sense. I like Isn't that. Isn't it just regular vanilla cake? Oh, this cake? is so awesome. Mm -hmm. Isn't it no. just regular vanilla cake? No. I mean, if oh. you would order a boring cake, it could be. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, but like the, you know, the cream that goes in the layers. And yeah. The bread. yeah. With the sprinkles? No. No. Oh. Sprinkles. You have sprinkles, sprinkles on a wedding cake. Wedding cake had you would have sprinkles on, on your wedding cake? I, no. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I really liked the coconut one because I do love, like, I okay. love coconut water stuff like that. So I really so like that one. Give us your top one. three. Um, my top three were the coconut, the blue, uh -huh. and blue is not a flavor. I know. <laughs> we I like raspberry. <laughs> raspberry. And what was the what was the lighter red, red again? Red velvet. Red velvet. I did like those. So those okay. are my top three. How about you, Jordan? All right. So mine was. Whew. Uh, red, red velvet. Uh huh. Um, pina colada, because you know that was good too. Yeah, you can do some things with that. Um, and then you have two pickles. Wait, the pina colada is no, that other pickle the one is you. Right? <laughs> That's the coconut. The same one I like is the coconut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay. then that bad boy. I forgot what the pear. The, the pear. pear. Okay. The pear. Yeah. Let me see. I like the blue raspberry, the cherry. And I'll go with wedding cake. So listen, <laughs> we cannot <laughs> thank you enough, Meg, for this. Yeah, I really awesome. appreciate you bringing your family you. to the studio and with thanks. what you guys are doing. This is perfect timing for summertime. I encourage all of you guys to check out Cajun Snow. They got some awesome, awesome treats for you guys for the summer. We'll make sure to get you that information, how to reach them. Thank you again, Meg. Yeah, appreciate it. And the pickle us. was not that bad. I'm just saying. It was pretty good. It was interesting. It was pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So that was some awesome, awesome snowballs that we just had. That was really fun. <laughs> oh my God. I enjoyed myself. Shout time. out to Meg I Hurst. enjoyed myself yes. with that. That, you know, that was good. I So I've been to Sweet Lucy's before, but to find out that she purchased Sweet Lucy's 
And she's a mom of four and a wife. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she does it. Oh my gosh. I I just felt at home because she was mentioned NOLA. I got like family in New Orleans. I was like, hey. I'm glad she educated me though, because she's like, it is not a snow cone. It's a snowball. It's a snowball. Water ice. There's a I'm learning the regions of all this stuff. There's an entire culture of it. She's like, understand me of how we do this. (laughs) This is a family mm -hmm. business. But wait, the pickle one. Mm. It was not that bad, (laughs) you guys. Like. well, and I will say no. this. First of all, I knew I knew it was coming because I smelled it first, hmm. and I was waiting to see what you guys were going to do. I'm going to be honest. Well, with she you. gave a good analogy. She said that you know that's probably someone like a, a crazy child would like that. So. Okay. Oh, and for the record, I am not pregnant just because I liked the pickle snowball. Just just saying. <laughs> Make sure I, that's clear. I'm, I'm, I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. Just make sure I'm that's clear. I'm just like, wow. But I did like wow. the other one, the, um, what was it? The, the coconut uh, one. The coconut. The she coconut, was, yeah. He was like, you throw a little margarita in that. Yeah, I was like, did. okay. That was I'm good. Cool with yep. so, was and, good. Um, I don't know if you guys heard, uh, but we have officially hit that 70% mark. Yeah, Woo! we did. D-E that's really exciting. Yep. Did, yes. did, you, did you get the tag? Did you win anything? I'm yeah, not did you get anything. it? I was did wondering. You, Governor Carney, I, I want find. I want the one tag. That's <laughs> that black tag with number one. I want that tag. So I know I can't get it, but I just want it for a day. You just so. throw it out there. I'm just yeah. throw it you out there. You never know. It doesn't hurt. To he ask. might he might show up on set. And well, like, here you go. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you get told no. I right? know. Yeah. I know. That's, That's okay. Sorry. I'm super curious who won the college scholarship. Right. Yeah. That was like right. a really big deal. I'm curious yeah. which kid was able to take mm-hmm. advantage of that. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, the three hundred and two thousand dollars the 302 for the 302 that's interesting um i can't wait to find out who won what i can't you well a lot of the um previous winners are still um that they're not out there they Mm -hmm. oh gosh sorry guys well listen you know Mm -hmm. you get all kinds of family that comes out the woodworks when you win something yeah yeah it's true that's true i'm your cousin can can i have a dollar (laughs) if i want anything you'll never know can i you know i wouldn't say a peep no i'm always broke i have no money Uh, but speaking of (laughs) (laughs) terrible speaking of winning something we're about to go meet with some lovely ladies yes Yes, right you two are going to sit down some awesome pageant yes i'm really excited now while we are meeting with two, uh-huh. we will have three in our mix because Ooh. our lovely JJ. That's oh, right. You, you, you did the stroll and the way. Help elbow, elbow, I'm twist, ignorant twist, to twist. the pageant world, so I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what. No, all what in the, the elbow. All in the elbow. All I don't know. Elbow. I don't know. I'm, I might have to go run and interrupt your interview and ask them. That's to okay. Show me how to do that wave. I don't know anything well, about it. Well, I think we could set that up. Oh, okay. Kristen, yeah. you know how to do a wave? I, I, you know how to do all in the elbow? You got it. I'm going to stay in my corner and just give them a nod, a salute. But when did you do that? I'm not telling you what year. I'm not going to age myself. <laughs> well, listen, you but, know, I turned 29 again this year. I know, yeah. Or we can Me say too. 30. We're we gonna 30. Say, I'm going to say that. Yeah. I'm 29 so, again. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Doesn't but matter. yeah, my history background, it was with a different organization. But yeah, I did. I actually have two titles for Miss Teen and Miss. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. So awesome. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. So I'm excited. I cannot wait to hear about all the stuff they've been doing in the community. Yeah. You know, I mean, yes. it's a, I know they were recently crowned. It was about yeah. a week ago now. Mm-hmm. So I can't wait to hear what they've done so yeah. far and Definitely. what they've got planned for the year ahead. Yeah. They got a big year ahead it of them. Sounds like yeah. it. They yeah. sounds like some very active individuals. So yeah. I'm really happy to see them out there Me too. in the community and serving and looking so pretty in their outfit and their little. What, oh. what do you call that? What, what is that? Sash. That's a sash. That's a sash. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they're little tiara. Yep. Oh, and they're heavy. They can be so heavy. I yeah. have like dents in my head. Yeah. <laughs> oh permanent, my like permanent little dents yeah. in my skull from yeah. wearing those things. Yeah. yeah. I saw one walking on set. I was like, good God. They're is heavy. that Tiffany on her head? A lot like, of weight. That is a lot of weight. I was like, she got the bag well, on her is, head. What's the saying? Heavy is heavy as the crown. Head. Yeah. Oh, heavy is the head that wears the crown. That's right. Yes. That's right. Wow. I, I need to yeah. change my cap into a crown, I guess, or <laughs> something, because they look in mighty royalty over Yeah, there, they so. do. Okay. Yep. All right. Just, you know, adjust your crown a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just lean it to the lean left. Lean it to the... You okay. Know. You could do that. So they understand. <laughs> so we're going to head on over, and uh, yeah. you, you two are going to head We're going to head on over. Right. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's right. go. Government doesn't make a move without an agenda, some type of plan. The problem is, we haven't been on the agenda. Sometimes we're overlooked. Sometimes our interests aren't the interests of those in power. I'm your host, Kerwin Gaines, on DETV's new show, The Agenda. We're going to do our best to ensure that you, Delawareans, are knowledgeable about what's going on in the assembly. Federal government, local government, it doesn't matter. We're going to do our best to ensure that folks that make the agenda on a daily basis 
have to answer for it. Let them explain what they're doing. If it affects you, it's on the agenda. All right, and we're back. We have with us now Ms. Delaware USA, Drew San Clemente. And we have Ms. Delaware Teen USA, Sky Knox. Yes, how are you Hi. ladies? I'm great, thank you for asking. Awesome. I'm great, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting to have you both here. It's so exciting to be here, thanks. I <laughs> and you guys have, must have had like a really exciting week. You just recently performed, sure. what, about a week ago now? Yes. So I, how crazy was your first week? What yes. have you been up to? I feel like I've only slept probably 10 hours since last Saturday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just so many things between sponsor meetings, yep. getting to know Sky, getting to know Vincenza, our director. It's Definitely been busy. Yeah, I, I told you, I was like, I was up for five days, like last week, <laughs> like straight, like with two hours of sleep through yeah. the whole time. So we've I'm caught sure up on rest now. alone has probably yes. kept you like mm -hmm. high yes. on energy. Yes. It's like the second I hit the bed, I'm like, I'm so tired. But then I'm like, I'm a Stellar. <laughs> <back." laughs> and I just keep staying up, thinking uh -huh. it over and over again, and just how grateful I am to be oh, here. Yep. That's so awesome. And I know your families must be super proud of you both. Yes. So I can't help but to wonder, like, have you always wanted to be? a Miss Delaware USA, Miss Delaware Team, De uh -huh. Delaware Miss Delaware Team USA, <laughs> yeah. So for me, yes. Um, I remember finding out about the Miss Delaware USA organization when I was about 13 years old. Um, and I was actually a year before I could compete in the organization. So I waited a whole year and then I said to my parents, I really want to do this. And at the time, I was a huge athlete, I was a triathlete, and they were like, you want to do what now? <laughs> they were like, you've never worn a skirt in your life. Like, what do you mean you want to do a pageant, right? Um, and so I was like, no, I want to do Miss Delaware Teen USA. And ever since that moment, I knew I wanted to have the opportunity to represent Delaware. Um, and it took me, I guess, 10 years, six different tries, and here I am. That's, That's awesome. Insane. Thank you. What about you, Scott? Yeah, I have a similar story like with Drew. I grew up as a competitive gymnast, so I was gymnastics tough like all the time. Uh -huh. You saw me with my hair in a bun and like a tracksuit <laughs> every day. So when I expressed that I wanted to get into pageantry and join the Miss USA um, organization, like my brother thought it was hysterical to the point where he was like laying on the ground like laughing. So that actually made me want to do it more. Uh -huh. um, and I was also drawn to uh, the moral of being confidently beautiful and embracing what that meant to me. Oh, that's so awesome yeah, and I know so your your brother he's into sports as well too right? oh my gosh yes he plays yeah. everything with the ball <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that is such an awesome transition you ladies both being so big into yeah. sports athletics and then transitioning into owning your image and you know having a heart for the community because there's yeah. lots of uh, volunteer work that goes into it I'm sure but tell me I'm kind of curious what about you JJ like what is it that you fulfill within your crown Sure, so yeah. we're uh, able to do whatever we really want with the title, which is truly incredible. Oh, nice. um, we're able to use the organizations that we love, that are really passionate for us, um, and support them. So I personally am using my year to advance women in STEM, um, because I'm a first year, or second year now, a medical student. Say you're a medical yes. student, right? <laughs> now where do you go? I go to Sydney Kimmel Medical College. Very nice. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I would like to use this year to kind of show young girls throughout our state that the possibilities in STEAM are truly endless, um, and it is such a male dominated field but women are becoming more prevalent and yeah. we you know that's we right. can do it that's and we, right. are, we are just as strong and capable as the you know males in our field so that's one thing I want to do and I also want to work with the Hope Scholarship Foundation which is a nonprofit that I started um, after overcoming sexual assault. Wow. Right. And you started it yourself? Yes I did. That's <laughs> awesome. When did you start? Thank you. Um, it's I believe we founded it in 2000. 18, I believe, was when we okay. officially. It's something that I had in the works for a couple years because it was how I was kind of overcoming my own experience. Mm -hmm. um, but it's up and running, and we're looking to provide scholarships to local community members. That's awesome. Incredible. Thank you. Yeah. What about you, Sky? Yeah, so I'm excited to use my year to uh, promote my platform, which is I'm Possible, Unlocking Your Potential in the Face of Adversity. Okay. Um, and I really want to promote the importance of mental and physical health, being a competitive gymnast, being a musician, and also being a survivor of sexual assault as well. So not only do I have that platform, but I use my work organization, the Teen Warehouse, right here in Wilmington, yeah. uh, to work with the teens in the city, as well as my nonprofit initiative, Brave Early Screening Teen. Listen, awesome. I am super excited because you ladies are empowering mm -hmm. other young ladies and women. Yep. You know, it's something that is very courageous, you know, being brave enough to take your own circumstances and use it to help others. I think that's mm -hmm. really great. Um, 
Jeez, I'm, it's I know, and like it, I don't know if you guys <laughs> know. I mean, I was with a different organization, but I also am a former Miss Delaware from a different organization. So I I kind of know a little bit about what you guys have experienced in the first week and the year that you have ahead. Um, so you know, and platforms are really important. I know you guys kind of briefly just touched on them and. You know, it's you have a really big year ahead. So, what is it that you are most excited to do? I know nationals is coming up. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. So, now I know nationals coming up. Is it this around the same time this year? Is it going to be in about? I think what is it? Three months? Yes, it's 152 yeah. days away. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and I know. <laughs> oh, I know. You count every day, every hour, every minute until it's that true. day comes. Yeah. The work starts now. So much now. to do. Yeah. <laughs> so much to do. So, do you guys? Are you guys? starting to prepare for that? Are you getting excited and getting everything ready to go? Where is it going to be this year? It's in Tulsa. Tulsa. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Nice. Yeah, that's exciting. I've never been, so I'm super excited to go. I haven't been in Tulsa either, no. I'm curious, what kind of activities lead up to nationals? So it's different for the teen and the miss. So okay. um, the miss this year, we get to, in September, we get to go to Cancun, Mexico uh, for oh, as lucky. kind of photo shoots, different orientations, uh, different promo video shoots, which is going to be super fun. It's the first year that the organization is doing that. So I'm really excited to be a part of that. Yeah. And then we have nationals. Okay. 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 Yeah. And the organization is all about the sisterhood. So I know for my teen queens, we'll be doing a lot of teen bonding um, activities and getting to know each other. And really, it's really cool, actually. You're going to be able to know one person from every state um, in the nation so just to think about that and grasp mm -hmm. your mind so we'll be able to teen bond um, get together do a lot of events like taking pictures to get ready for nationals that's yeah. exciting so okay for a gal like me so my family they didn't like push me to do pageants or anything of the oh, sort. neither did mine. Really? I, and well, mine, well, my She's sister, like, no, I had my me. older sister, I'll be honest, so like my older sister, this was something she wanted to do. She was a lot like you guys. She was like, this is what I want to do. Me, not so much. I was like kind of, it was more like your brother. Like I was the, the nerdy theater. Like I just never envisioned doing it myself. And then one day my sister was like, you're doing it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> And I did, and there it was. And it was wow. the best experience I ever had, which maybe, yeah. yeah. But how do you get involved, you know? Like, I, it's, it's not information that I was privy to. Like, I didn't go looking for it or anything. Mm -hmm. But as a young girl, I would have been interested in doing a pageant. So how do you learn how to get involved? Like, where do you find out? Sure. So the Miss Delaware USA organization has a website. So it's MissDelawareUSA.com. Yeah, right. um, and so if you check that out, there's different links there for you can, you can apply. Um, and once you put that application in, um, our director, Vincenza, will reach mm -hmm. out to you. She'll go over the, um, some of information over the phone um, and kind of get to know who you are and tell you what the organization is all about. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we also have an amazing class of yes. local title holders mm -hmm. from Sussex County all the way uh, to Newcastle County. So like you'll be able to see them. They'll be promoting their platforms mm -hmm. and you'll see them at different events and like they want to be able to get other girls as well to join the organization. That's, yes. that's really exciting. Oh my goodness. Listen, I'm super proud. Yep. Again, you know, the platforms that you guys are supporting, your initiatives, um, all of the great work that you're going to go forth and do in this next year. Um, I wish you the best of luck with nationals. Thank both you of so you. much. Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do have one quick question though, because I mean, Drew, we did talk about like your college experience and yes. where you're going, but. Sky, you're a recent high school graduate, right? Yes, yes. And I, I think I know, but tell us, where have you decided to go to college? Yes, so I'm a graduate from the Baldwin School, mm -hmm. and I will be attending Cornell University. Ooh. And what are we majoring in? So I'll actually be t attending as a competitive gymnast on their uh, okay. gymnastics team. Nice. I will be minoring in music, as well as doing an interdisciplinary major in Africana Studies, Psychology, and Communication. Busy Look girl. Busy, busy oh. girl. For sure. <laughs> You can't say, listen, to anybody who takes and looks at young ladies and say, oh, they're just cute, oh, they're so pretty, mm -mm, no, no, and no, think no, you're not no, smart that way. And brain. <laughs> that way. That way. I absolutely love this. Brains and beauty absolutely. and a great balance of both. Yep. Yes. Again, really appreciate you. Do you have any other questions? I don't, but Listen, I, I'm super good excited. Good luck, you guys. I, <laughs> we couldn't have asked for better representation for the state this year. Exactly. So we wish you the best luck. Indeed. And hopefully we get to see you again. Maybe you'll come back in a little while. Yes, we'll come back with our national title. Exactly. 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 Yes. National come title. Back. back here. I thought, yes. listen, I'm going to watch it. Okay. And then if I see you guys win, I'm calling you up. First interview. Good be morning. Here. <laughs> be here. Be here Monday it. morning. Yes. Exactly. That's right. I don't care if you zoom in. You're going right. to be here. That's for sure. Yeah. Indeed. It's so exciting. Awesome. So up next we have... Uh, yeah. So up next, um, when we come back, uh, Jordan's going to be sitting down with the executive director from the Grand Opera House. And he's going to be meeting with Mark Field. So stay tuned.
tuned, you guys. And we're back. We're sitting here with Mark Fields, Executive Director of the Grand Opera House. How are you, Mark? I'm great, Jordan. Glad to be it's with you. It's good to see you, my friend. It's yeah. been a while. It has. You know, COVID's put a little distance between us. I haven't seen you in a, almost a good year. How are things going? Oh, well, it's put a little distance between everybody, <laughs> yeah, hasn't right? it? Right? Isn't it amazing how coming out of this, that just seeing somebody for the first time. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, and, and, and like, without a mask. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I remember like, even, oh, that's... even during COVID, I would see like during Mark's stream, like, is that Mark? I can't <laughs> tell. The mask is in the way. Ah, you do have a lower <laughs> face. Yeah. 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 Nice to see yeah. you. Yeah. So now, Mark, you've been executive director for the, at the almost Grand six House. years well six. actually more than six years wow. i guess yeah wow. since december 2014 wow. so you know and as we were just talking about with the covid how has uh covid 19 it, it's played a huge impact in everyone's oh. life so i can only imagine that it played a big impact when it came to the grand opera house right? oh absolutely jordan i mean it was a once in a generation once in a century kind of experience the entire industry in essence shut down overnight because it didn't just happen here, of course. It happened everywhere in the country, everywhere in the world. But, you know, when you've got an airborne virus, one of the most dangerous places to be is in an indoor performance. Yeah. And so, you know, the governor very wisely shut down all of the indoor gathering spaces. When, we, when it first happened, uh, we had a show on the stage that night that was mm -hmm. ready to go that coincidentally was called the play that goes wrong. Oh, wow. So that's about as wrong as it can oh, go. Oh, man. And we had to cancel 50 other performances that oh. were scheduled for the spring of 2020. Yeah. But we thought it would be for, you know, weeks or, or months. And then it's turned into a year and a half. Yeah. And we lost all of our revenue, not just ticket sales, but we rent the theater out and that rental income went away. And people make contributions based on the performances and programs that they see and enjoy and appreciate and want to support. And when you aren't doing any of those things, then contributions fall off yeah. too. So it was really a triple whammy for I us. I can imagine. I can imagine. Now, you, you having been executive director of the Grand Opera House for six years, what would you say this pandemic has taught you? Well, one of the things it's taught us is just the power of team. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had, we kept everybody on. We got payroll protection plan money for a while and kept everybody on mm -hmm. into the summer. Okay. But then when that money ran out, we had to lay off 60% of the oh. staff. Uh, but the rest of the staff gathered together and we said, we're not going to let this pandemic change the fact that we serve the community. And so we looked for new ways to do that. We did our concerts by car where we had people actually drive in and, and attend a concert at the at the riverfront by car. We did uh, c uh, cinema at Bellevue where we showed movie musicals. And we even did a light show at the holidays and we had over 35,000 people come to see our light show uh, at, in a parking lot. Yeah. So it was a way for us to continue to remind people that the arts are important, that the grand is important to the community and that we still continue to serve. But now we're at a place with the COVID subsiding and people feeling more comfortable about, about being both outdoors and indoors that we're ready to get back into the business that we do primarily and that's host indoor performances right. and you have an awesome team i, I gotta give a shout out to a former employer of mine kate baker frawley oh, okay. i used to work for her yeah. uh, years ago fresh out of high school and um you know she and i share a mutual friend and um uh, the late great jim gilliam senior ah. and i, I mentioned him because uh, i know the grand gala you guys recognized him we did in right? 2010 yeah. but we're actually working with the gilliam family again in okay. a way that you may not know about no Part of our RISE campaign, which is the $5 million campaign we're doing to get not just reopen, but back to the same financial capacity that we had before the pandemic, 
One important piece of that is a renewed commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. And we've gotten support from the Gilliam Family Foundation for that. And in fact, we're calling it the Gilliam Family Inclusion in, uh, in, uh, where, what? <laughs> Inclusion Fund. Okay. So the Gilliam Family Inclusion Fund. And we're in the process of raising money to bring more artists of color, to serve more audiences of color, and uh, to do a job of, we want everybody in the community to feel like the grand belongs to them. And we feel we do an okay job, but we want to do better. And, oh, and with that support from the foundation, we will do better. You're, you're humble. You guys do a superb job. I, I, I attended the Grand Gala. I was sharing with the other hosts, Kristen and JJ, about me having being able to attend the Grand Gala one year. And you go from the Grand, and then you're walking with the whole crew. Everyone's in their mink coats and tuxedos, and they're headed to the Playhouse. So, I mean, that, that to me has always been a big highlight. What, what are you looking forward to with some of the shows that are coming up? Well, the Grand Gala is one. Mm -hmm. We're not ready to announce an artist yet. We'll now, be you, you, can, you can tell me a yeah. hint. Is there a song of an artist? Uh, I think that would give away too much. Okay, okay. It, I try. I try. It, I try. It will be very fun, and it will be a little retro. You, you, so, you can make the debut here at Good Morning <laughs> Wilmington now. Well, That's all not, right. not to the ink's dry on the contract. Okay, gotcha, so, gotcha, gotcha. But we're close. We'll okay. be announcing it later this summer. Okay. But we are bringing the Grand Gala back. Okay. We weren't able to do it last year, of course, okay. because of the pandemic. But it will be back this year, and that's one of the things that we're looking forward right. to. But we have announced 35 artists already for the upcoming season. Wow. Now, in a normal year, we would do 70 to 80. We're not going to try to do that this year. We're going to be a little more cautious as we reopen. But it still represents the same kind of variety and eclectic that people are used to seeing. So we've got we've got Jane Lynch, the oh. the actress from Glee, is coming wow. and doing a. You know what JJ just mentioned that to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, she's doing a cabaret show with Kate Flannery from okay. The Office. Okay, it's got, called a Swingin' Little Christmas. Okay, so it'll be a little bit of comedy, a little bit of snark, and nice. a little bit of Christmas music. Nice. So that should be fun. We've got Brian Regan, the stand-up comic, is coming. He's actually going to open our season. Louis Black is coming. We've got the folks from. Uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway are coming to do their live show, which is called Who's Live Anyway. Uh, the a cappella group Straight No Chaser, which is a perennial favorite at the Grand. We've had them and sold them out a number of times. Uh, but we've got Drumline Live is coming in January. Uh, we've got The Temptations coming in October. Can we get them here? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm going to talk to Ivan and we'll yeah, see. To, see what we'll we see can see if we do. can set something up. That'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we're really excited about the lineup and the variety that it represents. You know, mm -hmm. Celtic, family programming, uh, rock and roll, oh, wow. a little bit of everything. And, and that's what I appreciate about the Grand. You, you guys cover an entire genre, not just one specific group. Right. right? And I, I really appreciate your guys and, and your hard work for all that you've been doing at the Grand Opera. What can we as a community, you know, I'm born and raised here in Wilmington, and I know it's been a struggle during the pandemic for a lot of artists, folks in the entertainment well, and in, and in theater. What can folks from the city of Wilmington do to help the Grand Opera House? Well, the number one thing, Jordan, is come to the shows. Okay. Uh, that's an important part of it. Now, we don't pay all the bills with the shows, as you know. You know, we subsidize the tickets so mm -hmm. that uh, we're not trying to cover all of our costs with tickets. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're not going to turn down contributions from anybody. But one of the things that we've seen in this pandemic that has been incredibly gratifying for somebody like me who spent my lifetime in the nonprofit arts world, yeah. uh, everybody has understood how important the arts are, not to keep alive during the pandemic, but also to help us with the recovery. Right. You know. It, as we talked about at the beginning of this segment, we've spent a lot of time separate, yeah. even doing our work from, you know, our, our den or, <laughs> you know, our, our extra yeah. bedroom or yeah, whatever yeah. it is and, and not seeing people in person. And, and the arts is a perfect experience, a performance to, to be in fellowship right. with other people, to sit there and have a shared experience at the same time. And as great as the arts are in an in a online or a virtual experience, nothing compares to the live experience. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's always that anything could happen. It could be great, it could, could be challenging, it could be any of a number of things. Mm -hmm. And so we want people to come back and remember that. Uh, we want to create opportunities for people to, to re-socialize. And, and 
as we've gone through this pandemic, whether it's been government or foundations or corporations or individuals, everybody has understood that the arts are important, that we want them back, and we've gotten an incredible amount of support, mm -hmm. even from the federal government, mm -hmm. which, and that isn't always an, a foregone conclusion. They fight over NEA money every year, but this, you know, they provided through the stage, uh, Save Our Stages program, mm -hmm. over $15 billion wow. for the live entertainment industry. Wow. And so we're hoping that uh, we'll get a piece of that. And as we raise money to reopen, we're doing very well because people have been extremely generous. Well, Mark, I can't thank you enough for all that you've been doing at the Grand Opera House and for the community. Because well, you, you. While, while a lot of folks know you to be active at the Grand, I know you'd be involved with your civic association. I know you'd be involved in very aspects outside of the Grand Opera House. So thank you for your contribution. Well, thank you. 24-7 around the clock. So I appreciate <laughs> well, thank you, you, boss. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And we will be right back. A special thanks to Mark Fields. All right, that was such a great interview with yeah. Mark Fields. Yeah, Mark is awesome. Right? I know. Mark's a friend and love all that he's been doing. He's been holding it down over at the Grand Opera Most House. definitely. Yeah. I am so excited. I cannot wait. Yeah. I know, I'm really know. looking forward to the comedy in September yeah. and mm -hmm. the music in October. Yeah. Yep. I think with the comedy going in September, we all need some laughs to come out yes, of summer. Yes, you know, it eases us back into yes, the fall. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm a summer baby, so I hate that seasonal transition. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then, you know, laugh. it's even perfect is this, you know, now that we're getting back into this normalcy, mm -hmm. the sea, you know, when it comes to arts community, mm -hmm. it, yes. seeing the Grand Opera House open, I remember going to the Grand for their big gala, and mm -hmm. I told you everyone's walking down Market Street looking like a penguin, I felt, <laughs> in my tuxedo to the DuPont Theater uh -huh. and having a good fun. It, it's a lot of fun. It's yeah. such it's a, a grand affair. Yeah. I, um, and I, I'm actually looking forward to it. I want to strive to go this year. Okay. Um, I think it's a big deal. It's a part you of... You used to work there. I did. You, should, you probably got the hook up better than I did. I, I went to market. some different events because, you know, I started off as a telemarketer mm -hmm. and I phased into doing some fundraising with them, mm -hmm. which was really awesome. So I got to mm -hmm. do some different events um, within the foundation and it was really great. Little mm -hmm. different uh, um, nights they would have, they would bring people together and mm -hmm. have different music events going on. Yeah. But uh, I must say, my time working there, getting to see Tito Puente, that was my absolute favorite, hands down. <laughs> hands down. Wow. I think I got to see The Temptations review there. Ah, I, was, I was a kid. That's a fun one. That was fun. I think that the. Uh, I think the last one that I remember, I recall going to, was um, Eddie Izzard. He was a mm -hmm. he's a comedian. I don't know if you're familiar okay. with him. Okay. But he that was the last show I saw at the Grand. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I, that nice. I can remember. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm I'm just glad to see them open back up. You know, every, it was struggle. It was a struggle for the arts community specifically sure. during COVID. So you know, I know with all these performances, it's going to help with the revenue. Mm -hmm. And speaking of revenue, hey, Governor Carney uh -huh. and the state legislator, they finally passed the budget. Yes. Yep. Four point. $77 billion. Dollars. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to the governor for signing that bill. Um, I've worked down there and I've seen they will keep it going to almost three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So the fact that they got that done soon and on time, that was that was amazing. Yeah. yeah. So and then I, he's also investing 16 million into mental health. That is so um, important. Yeah, yeah, 16 million into uh, mental health and for students and is giving hopefully raises to state employees yeah, I heard with about this that, money. Yeah. So, you know, I'm I'm very big shout out to the governor and the state yeah. legislature. I was that. I was really happy to see the mental health thing, especially yeah. coming out of COVID. I mean, you and I have had oh many conversations gosh, yes. about this. I mean, just coming out of COVID and making the adjustment back and mm -hmm. it's such what that a big deal. Like. People yeah. need support. People need mental and emotional support they do. They coming do. out of this pandemic, they you do. know, being able to transition back into the work world. There are many stresses that people are going to go through mm -hmm. um, within their families, within and, you know, individuals, even mm -hmm. people who are solo, it's mm -hmm. just them, and now they're reemerging into society and mm -hmm. they have to go and be around people again, you know? Mm -hmm. That might cause some anxiety. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. And, and, you know, it's, this, is, this budget is historic because he signed $1.3 billion uh, into the capital budget. Now, that's okay. the largest uh, capital infrastructure plan in Delaware's history. So that's, really? that's huge. That is big. Wow. That's huge. That's so, big. 
Governor Carney and state legislators, they're doing those things. Yeah. Indeed. Big shout out to Saran Kate, also the OMD director. He's been holding the purse strings and working with the governor as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So. Well, the other thing that's really cool about this, too, and this is something you and I constantly talk about, is a big chunk of this is going towards education. Yes. yes. And you know, I love, love, love. It's, everything starts with education. Yeah. It does. So, and I know Governor Carney, when we interviewed him last, he spoke about his uh, summer learning initiative. Mm -hmm. I'm super curious for an update on how that's going. It's now July. <laughs> I'm super curious. Governor Carney, will you please give us an update? Yes. Governor Carney, can I get those license plates? I'm <laughs> Here we go again. I'm going to try plates. and get that number one license plate. Oh, so. goodness. Well, I appreciate you guys. This has been an awesome, yeah. awesome Monday. It has. Out with you guys. Big shout out to Ive and the crew at DETV. Whoop, whoop. Hope you guys enjoy your Monday. Indeed. Good morning, Wilmington.